G'day, how's it going? This is the Mavic 3 Pro, and today we're going to test it out and see how it does. So before we start today's video, we're going to do a simple drone race. We've got the Mavic 1, 2, 3 Classic, 3 Pro and the Mini. All the drones are going to be in sport mode. First one to cross the pink line wins. I think now's a good time to place your bets in the comments section. <laughs> We've got five drones ready to race. Place your fucking bets. This is what happens when you let the boys do something. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, come on, what are you doing? This is Baroka Lookout. We're not actually at the lookout point. We've just driven up the road to get to the lookout point, but this is mainly where we want to shoot today. So I'm going to set up the drone pretty high up, just try and get a shot of my car in the middle of the road here. I was hoping for a bit more fog than what we currently have, but maybe once the sun rises a bit more, some more fog will roll through. So we'll set up, see what sort of shot we can get. So yesterday we were out shooting some of the wildlife and stuff, and then we got back to our hotel and we made some dinner and stuff, and then we pretty much just went to bed and I forgot to put all the other batteries on charge. Oh, no. So, <laughs> I only have the one battery. We still have like a, probably a good half an hour of flight time, but <laughs> that means I need to get all the footage of this sunrise <laughs> and the photos that I wanted to get with one battery. Fuck oh, yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Photos suck. There's no fog. So unfortunate. Yo, I'm on seven times zoom. Can you drive all the way down to the end until I tell you to stop? Sometimes it doesn't matter how much you try and plan and do or whatever. With a camera, it obviously doesn't drain as much battery as a drone because a drone you only have like 20 minute, most of the time like 20 or 30 minute pockets at a time with each battery. Obviously you need a lot of batteries if you're going to be doing big shoots. I really wanted to get sort of foggy shots and it just wasn't the conditions that I was hoping for. There is fog like here and around but I don't know, this location just didn't really work so we still have a whole day here so hopefully we can get something better at sunset. Traditionally with drones that have come out, especially from DJI, you've just had the one camera that you've used for everything until they brought out the Mavic Zoom, similar to having like a 24 to 70 or something along those lines. But with this drone, it has three different lenses, two of them which are telephoto and then one which is the wide. So it's like having three prime lenses in a drone. So I'm finding with my shots at the moment, they're just sort of, they're great shots uh, and obviously the landscapes are beautiful but it doesn't feel like there's just much going on. So I'm going to try and fly the drone a bit lower to the road we have over here and try and use that to frame my image. I'm sick of the CBs, yeah. I'm going to go drive it down there. Let's go. You drive.
shit. Holy shit. We're right on the cloud. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna do it. What if it's just all wet? Fuck him. <laughs> oh, I'm going through it. it hit, imagine it hit something. <laughs> it's, it's like a power line. It's a, it's a solid cloud. Look at that. Sam oh, Calder transition. Yeah. Where Sam Calder? Where, where are you now, Sam Calder? Huh? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> The dynamic range is insane because it's quite dark right now and it still retains those shadows and the sunset highlights so well. Because usually once it gets to dusk, drones just suck, but this yeah. is actually good. I love this drone. Oh, come here. Now how the fuck am I getting home? Well, I just wanted to talk about some pros and cons of the Mavic 3 Pro. Now there's three cameras on one drone is probably the biggest upgrade DJI has ever done on one of their drones. Just look at it, man. Look how tough that looks. Having gear that just looks tough and expensive equipment just makes you look like you know what you're doing on a job. If you have bigger camera equipment, people just take you more seriously. I don't know why, I don't know what the psychological aspect is behind it, but people associate having better technology and bigger equipment, even though that's not necessarily always the case with photography. People who don't know much about cameras and you bring out a big rig, they're like, oh wow, this guy must be serious. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. Negative parts to it, DJI claim that you get 43 minutes of flight time off one battery. And I do think that would be possible if you were flying maybe in a tripod mode with no wind whatsoever. In this video, I was flying around mildly aggressively in between normal mode and sport mode with not much wind. And I found that by the time the drone started doing a forced landing, I got about 18 minutes of flight time. We're in 2023, realistically, I think it'd be amazing if one of these batteries could do something crazy like 60 or 90 minutes. I don't know how far-fetched that is, but depending on your conditions and what type of pilot you are, they're gonna drain batteries, absolutely. But it would be nice to see DJI come out with a battery that just has an extreme amount of power in it. For a shoot like what I just did, I had to bring an entirely separate bag just to carry all the drone equipment, the controller, the drone itself, the filters, and five spare batteries. Another thing that DJI have done in the past but haven't done on this drone is no vertical mode. Now, I understand that there's a massive gimbal here with a lot of cameras on there. The original Mavic and the Mavic Mini series both have vertical options for their cameras. Nowadays, with the rise of short form content and a lot of people uh, consuming content, all of that stuff needs to be shot vertical. So I think people would definitely appreciate a vertical mode in this. I honestly think that would be an ultimate drone for a creator if that was the case. All three cameras have slightly different color profiling to them. It isn't really necessarily a con, but it does get a little bit interesting to edit, especially more or less for video content when each camera does look slightly different. I've mainly noticed that between the Hasselblad camera in there with the wide 24 mil and then the 166 telephoto lens in there, they definitely both have a, an obviously different look to them. And lastly, the price on one of these. They start at $3,000. And then when you're looking at getting more batteries or an upgraded controller, you're looking at about four and a half to five. And then you have the Mavic 3 Pro Cine, which has an Apple ProRes in it and a one terabyte SSD storage inside of it, which costs seven grand. That being said, if you are serious about your aerial shots and also depending on what kind of pilot you are and how recklessly you fly, a drone like this would easily last you years. To see Mavics come out and be worth three to seven K is a little bit nuts, just saying. Anyway, let's have a look at some of my photos. Out of everything I shot, I was mainly focusing on getting the video aspects of it because where we were was so visually pleasing. So I was really focusing more on the filmmaking aspect for this video. 
But I did take a couple of photos, one which I shot on the Hasselblad camera at 24 mil, and another one here that I shot on the Time 7 zoom. There is a little bit of grain that is noticeable in the Time 7 camera, but I guess that is to do as well with my lighting conditions. I was in a forest at sunrise, not necessarily the most ideal conditions. There was a little bit of wind when I was shooting, which means I can only slow my shutter speed so far down to reduce the amount of noise in my image. That's what we need. We need a massive crane point, like a massive monopod. When you click tripod mode on this, it should just shoot out like massive jack stands from the bottom and just bolt it directly in the ground. You basically have a camera on a tripod like 100 meters up in the sky. That's what we need, Mavic 4. Take notes, DJ. Other than that, this is gonna be the drone I'm gonna be using from now on because it really does just shit on every other drone. And I can't show too much footage of this because it is a video that Liam is currently working on, but I did help him shoot some stuff with this drone and again it just the performance on it was just outstanding The photos you've seen in today's video have been edited with my V2 presets. I use my preset day. If you're looking for Lightroom presets, I do sell them on my website at North Borders. Bunch of different packs there to choose from. And then if you're looking for my combo presets, which I sell with Liam, I've got some other websites all linked down in the description there. Each preset pack comes with their own walkthrough tutorials and raw photos for you to practice your editing on. So yeah, all linked down if you want to grab those. Got a box. I don't know if you can read that in there. Sony. I have some Sony cameras here and I will be doing a giveaway very shortly in a few videos it'll come out. Just thought uh, I gotta build the hype, you know, you know. You know how it is. Being a fucking YouTuber and shit. If you take drone shots or just do photography in general, I love seeing your photos that you tag me in on Instagram when I get a chance to scroll through all my tagged shots. So if you wanna do that, just tag me at North Borders and that's where you can check out my photos as well. Hopefully I taught you something new in today's video. If you did like it, maybe you can leave a like down below. I hope us out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, keep having yourself a shit one. I've been having a shit one since 99. <laughs> that was so cringe, fuck. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I hit myself in the nuts. Oh, you kidding? <laughs>this and hit myself with a fucking nut. Bro, I make the worst fucking videos. <laughs> you wouldn't do a backstretch and fly the drone. <laughs> <laughs> like, just look at this. You know when you go to show your mate something, it doesn't load. <laughs> but yeah, we, like, we overall we still got good shots, but yeah. yeah. Fucking attention whore. <laughs>